Okay, remember when we're dealing with our factoring, okay, factoring is just telling us to take our number or our expression, or whatever, and write it as a product of the two of the factors of the problem. So if I look at something simple like 2m plus 2, I want to rewrite that as a multiplication problem of the numbers of the factors of it. Remember, factors are numbers that evenly divide into your number. So what I can do is think about what number evenly divides into both of these. Well, the only, num the only thing that go to evenly divides into both of them is a 2. So if I divide this term by 2, I'm left with m. And divide 2 by 2, I'm left with 1. So now, by dividing both of those terms by the common factor, I'm able to rewrite it as a multiplication problem. All right? So what I'm going to do here is look at this and say, all right, what do this term and this term share that I can divide out? Because if I can divide out the same number, I can rewrite it as a multiplication problem of the two factors. Yes? Three. Three. You look at this and you notice they actually both share three. 81 divides into three and 48 divides by three. So I can factor out a three. Now, what else do they share that I can also divide it by? They also share one other variable. Two. Variable, variable, variable. R. Yes, R. R, right? They don't both share a T, so I can't factor out a T, but they both share an R. So I can factor out a 3R. So what happens when I divide 81R by 3R? Well, how many times is 81 going into 381? I'm sorry, how many times is 3 going to 81? It's 27. R goes into R one time, so I don't need to write a 1. Plus, then you say, all right, now 48RT divided by 3R. How many times does 3R go into 48? 16. R goes into R one time, but there's still going to be a T left there. Now, you might say, okay, well, you're dividing, and then you're getting a multiplication problem. Remember, when we're factoring, our purpose is to write our expression <coughs> as a product of two factors. 3R was one of our factors because 3R evenly divides into both of our terms. Since it evenly divides into both of our terms, I can divide both of my terms by 3R. The result is my other factor, 27 plus 16R. When you multiply both factors by each other, you get your original number back again, right? So let's do that. 3R times 27 is going to give you 81R. 81 divided by 3 is 27. Check it in your cover. So if I go back, 3 times 27R is going to be 81, and then 3R times 16 gives me, or 16T, gives me 48RT. So we're just working backwards. Okay? You work forward to get it as a product, and then you break it back out the part. All right? Wait, wait, wait. Yes. The top, the top ones are the parentheses and the answer? Yes, sorry. Uh, the middle. We're just working on, when you're working on factoring, here is going to be your final answer. Okay? Write it as a product of the two factors.